Oh, come on in. Hi, my name is Gary Gonzalez, senior theater major. This is the Black Box Theater, where all of the BAA theater productions happen. Black Box is usually smaller than a thrust or a proscenium. Uh, a proscenium is a stage uh, where the stage is in front of the audience and the audience um, the audience is just on one side of the room and the stage is on the other side. A thrust stage is where it's like a catwalk where the audience are on both sides and in the front of the stage um, looking at the stage and a black box lets you build the stage wherever you want, wherever you want the audience. This is where you control all the sounds and stuff. Um, this is also where you control um, the backstage speakers so the actors could hear what's happening on set and hear the cue. So a special thing about this is that not only the backstage can hear it and the people on set, but also you in here can hear it. They have speakers. This is the speaker up here where you hear what's happening on stage. Um, Turn off the light. This is the blue light, which is needed backstage because you do need to see what you're punching here and this light can be on or the audience will not concentrate on the play. Okay, so this is the lighting board. You turn it on from back here and you have your lights. Um, instead of blue lights, you use these lights because the audience can't see it from this window. Um, so this is the lighting board. This is how you control all the lights. So this is the lighting board, now it's on. This is the computer. These are all the light numbers, and it tells you what light's on and how you can turn them off. Uh, you just press, you just press go. There's the go button right here. You just press go during a the show. They tell you to stand by, which means just put your finger over it. And then when they say go, you click go. And then the lighting cues are in sync, so once you press go, the lighting cue, the next lighting cue will happen, and every single time a new lighting cue happens, they'll just tell you press go. The person that tells you that is the stage manager. Um, they're up here in the booth with you, telling you lighting cues. So there are different lights in theater. Um, from pars, no, from pars, 64 pars, to legals. This par was originally made from coffee can and uh, car headlights uh, when theater was first starting off. And now they just adjusted it. If you take off the glass, which I have to get to the back of, if you take off the glass, you'll see that it looks just like a car headlight. Even from the inside, you can see it looks kind of like a car headlight. You might see this on every light that you ever encounter. Um, this is a C clam, yeah, because it's a C. And this is what holds the light in the air. Um, you see this tube? This is the grid. It looks it's exactly like the grid. Um, the grid is made out of this and um, the grid is meant to hold lights. This is how the lights are connected. Like I said, this is where the light is connected. The, uh, this is the cable for the light, but the other side of the cable is connected to one of these, and these are hung up on the grid and have their own number and their own cable sticking out of it. So that's how you know what number light you're, you're turning on. So these are lighting gels. Um, they come in different colors. They are meant for people, uh, they're meant for the lighting designer to change the color and the mood uh, of the performance. So the lighting gel, this is too small for this, but the lighting gel just goes inside of this little frame 
and they have bigger ones. And then you slide it in like this, and then you clip this over it to make sure it doesn't fall out. Mm -hmm. So that's how a lighting gel works. Um, yeah, and lighting gels come in all different sizes for all different lights. So on these, uh, on these lights, um, these are the original, the original lights, the first ones that they made, and then they made a smaller version of them, which are these. You, you could adjust this one down, but you can't adjust this one up. Okay. So it depends how wide of a circle you want or how wide of an area do you want to get covered. Uh, but they're practically they're pra uh, but they're practically the same model, just different circle sizes. So this is one of those lights that give the circle. Uh, you can make it small, as you can see, on my shoulder. It gets smaller, it can get wider, just by putting on putting these tabs. Focus it. By sliding this up and down. The numbers on this side, the letters are on the other side, behind this blue fabric. Um, and the numbers help you, the numbers and letters help you locate where you're gonna put your lights. Instead of using X, Y coordinates, we use the letter and the number to show where is it on the grid, which could be like a graph, if you think about it, making that connection. So this is the model of the play rent that's gonna happen at Emerson. Um, you guys should come and see. This is, this is a model that the designer has to make to show the director and to show the actors what's going to be on the stage to prepare them. Because um, like this play, in most plays, um, sometimes the actors don't have enough time to get a feel for the set. Thank you for watching. Have a nice night, guys.